Hello everybody. So another very useful thing is how you can format text in a different way and format it using your variables. So in this BP template, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So let's open it. The first thing that I've created is I've created a few variables. The first thing is character name and it is a name variable. I select here name and for the character name, I give it the name Frodo. Then spawn location, which is of type string. And in the string, I put Mordor. This is the location that our character has spawned. The next is damage. It is float. And I put damage of 250. Moving further is a weapon object. And this time it is a data table. So here, just search for data table. Go to data table and select object reference. And right now I'm going to show you a few variations how you can format text. The first thing that we need is event begin play. Event begin play. And from this event begin play, I'm going to start formatting a text. So I'm going to search for text format. And here under format text. And the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a print string. So print string. And I'm going to connect my event begin play to print string. I'm going to put duration to 50 and I'm going to make the text color to red. All right. So those are the first steps. Next here in the format text, what we can do is we can simply here put what we need to format. So in order for you to expose a variable, you need to use curly brackets. So I'm going to input left curly bracket and I'm going to type character name. And when I hit enter, we have here exposed a connection for our variable. I'm just going to connect my variable over here. And then I'm going to just type a text. So right now we're going to have proto is at, again, curly bracket, spawn location, close the curly bracket, and I'm going to connect my spawn location. So right now what we are going to have is Frodo is at the spawn location, which is Mordor. Moving further, I'm just going to type making. And I'm going to open left curly bracket and I'm going to put damage. Right curly bracket, close it and connect your damage over here. So right now the sentence is Frodo is at Mordor making 250 damage. Let's arrange this not to look like a spaghetti. And finally, we need a type of weapon that is making that damage. So I'm going to put space width and I'm going to hit enter. And right now I'm going to create a data table. I'm going to compile and save minimize i'm gonna go to blueprints structure and i'm gonna name st for structure and i'm gonna name this structure weapons i'm gonna double click on this structure and under this variable i'm gonna put weapon name i'm gonna select a string over here save it i'm gonna minimize and right now i'm gonna right click and create a data table so here in the search data and i'm gonna select data table right now it will want to pick a structure so we've already created our structure and we're going to select our ST, which is stand for structure weapons. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to name this DD for data table weapons name. Weapon names. I'm going to double click on it, save it and I'm going to hit add. So I'm adding a first row and here it is super important to put a name for your row. So here under the name, I'm going to put 001 and for the weapon name, I'm going to give it giant sword. I'm going to save it. And right now we've created the data table. Let's get the information from the data table and format it to the text. Go to your BP and what you need to do is here in the weapon object, I'm going to choose weapon object, the default value. I'm going to choose the DT weapon names, the data table that we've created going to select it, compile and save. The next step is I'm going to drag, get it. And from the get structure, I'm going to search for get data table row, get data table row. And from here, I'm going to drag, get data table. And under utilities, I'm going to get the data table row. And here under row name, I'm going to put the name that we've imported 001. And we want to break the structure. So from out row, I'm going to drag break break the st weapon and right now it is breaking up and giving the weapon name and what we need to connect over here is from event begin play we need to activate to get the data table row and when the row is found we are going to print so we are ready with it 
and what we need to do over here is add another curly bracket and input weapon type. I'm going to close it. So this is one way of doing it and just connect it to the weapon type. Right now, connect the result to the string, compile, save, and right now just drag and drop your BP template, play it. Frodo is at Mordor making 250 damage with giant sword. All right. But there is another trick that I can show you if you don't want to mess this up because you have here variables coming from here and this is breaking up from a data table. What you can do is you can append to text. So right now we are formatting those and what you can do is drag from here, search for append and here in the append we can do a little bit of modification. I'm going to connect the weapon name to B and here I'm just going to put another text, unique weapon. And after I input the unique weapon, I'm just going to do another append. I'm going to disconnect this with holding out on my keyboard and connect the return value to B and connect the result here to A. And right now what we are going to have is we're going to have this Frodo is at Mordor making 250 damage with and this is our first sentence and it will append with unique weapon and after unique weapon it will feed the giant sword and here i'm just gonna give a space in front and after unique weapon compile save and just connect my return value to the string again compile and save i'm gonna play it frodo is at mordor making 250 damage with unique weapon giant sword and right now for example if i go to my data table add another row this is my row 002 and let's say he has a pocket knife. I'm gonna save it, go to the BP template, just change the role name to 002, compile and save, hit play. Frodo is at Mordor making 250 damage with unique weapon pocket knife. So this is how easily you can get different data from a table and this role name can be dictated through your game. So every time you want different item, you can increment or decrement this value and that's why I'm putting it like 002 because you can do mathematical operations to get the right item from your data table. So this was a pretty quick video to show you how you can format text, how you can append and how you can get information from a data table. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. If you enjoyed any of the videos on this channel and if you are a fan, could you do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button? Surprisingly, 85% of the people who watched my videos are unsubscribed. Your quick action of hitting that subscribe button will support this channel and as it grows, we will be able to share even more free content with you.